I think I'm gonna go hex. I like it. I've never thrown a hex. Hex in hand. Oh, Ace. he aced it. It's time for bag swap. Potentially, the wheel is half bag swap, half keep your bag. We're playing nine holes. We'll spin the wheel before the hole and see what happens. And then the back nine is going to be over on Casey White's channel, who is uploading way more consistently than me. So yeah, buddy. I'd recommend checking it out. That's all thanks, Coach Rod. <laughs> Shout out. All right, let's go. Hole one. Do we get our own bags? <laughs> the bag swap bag right, swap right off. away. All right. Right off the bat. Okay, who's, no warm ups needed. Who's first? Um, I think I'll go first. All right, go. Cool. Okay, here's the camera. Hole okay. one's about 230 feet. Casey, I have no idea about your bag. This is definitely like a putter or mid at most. You throw a forehand too. I don't know if my first throw of the day can possibly be a forehand. Oh, you used to have that disc in the bag. Yeah, I'm very familiar with the Midnight Prowl, of course. That was a good choice. I think that's a pretty fair choice. I definitely have an advantage because, you know, I've thrown these discs for 10 years. You have the advantage for throwing. I have the advantage for peace of mind because I have no shame in throwing a disc I've never thrown before. True. All right, here we go. Hold on. Oh yeah, he's flippy. Oh, oh, a little too wide. If you can see the basket just over the oh, hill I there. Like that shape, though. All right, Casey, my bag has been kind of a fluid concept for a long time, six months about. So you might not know all these discs in my bag yet. Glow resistor, that's all I need. Oh yeah, you have the forehand, of course. Forehand advantage, the Eclipse resistor. Definitely comparable to like an FD3. It's a bit slower. Slower, yeah. A bit flatter. But flight shape wise. Oh. oh, it's a bit inside, a bit high. We're both, we both got looks. Okay. I used to put with a neutron anode in 2015. <laughs> so this should be easy, a little 50 footer to warm up. Yeah. Welcome home, this is called. Oh boy. <laughs> do you blame the putter or do you blame no. you? Uh, it's just all, all, all Evo. You have four putters in your putter slot. Yep. Are these your two main ones? Yep. Blue one's throwing oh, putter. And then you have a mega beat up tactic. Yep. And a old, old school. I guess I'll use these two. Are these just P line P2s? Yep. Damn, this is so close I can't miss it. He did not Thanks miss it. The lead. Can you believe it? I'll give you a tap in from here. All right, thanks. Hole two is a par four? Yep, par four. How long? I don't know, 480. Oh, short guy. A lot of woods. Bag swap. We might as well just make this whole video about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I get the box still, and this is the perfect FD shot, right? Sure. Night strike. Night strike. You got the king of the FDs here. Ooh, Look for another FD. Here. So you have a one and two. Yep. And then I got a second run in there as well. Oh, I think I want one of these though. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna do the one. Yeah, the one's the one you used the to classic. beg. Classic. So Simon is not throwing a disc yet that he hasn't had in his bag previously. Yeah. Ah, mosquito day. Okay, I like it. Aggressive line, but that's probably gonna be good. Look pretty perfect to me. All right. I already threw a sidearm, so I feel like I probably shouldn't do that again. Throw your crave. Might as well. Yep, that's Just the most similar it. to that, I'd say. Yeah. Casey White lining up the proton crave. Nope. Oh, neutron crate. Neutron. I can't believe I messed that up. It's been six months. <laughs> <laughs> Embarrassing. Oh. Uh, oh, bad. Uh, kicked right back. Sorry, middle of fairway. So that's actually the new Proton Servo. Servo, okay. It's kind of similar to the Crave, a bit more overstable, okay. but it 
definitely wants to flip up slightly. That's what I. That's what I wanted. Yeah. A little more stable crave. So the basket is like there. It's still about 300. No. Oh. Dang. Ah, uh, lots of tree sounds. Might be able to save par. Oh boy. What's this guy. That is an MD4. Can I throw that? Yeah, of course. Is that public knowledge? What? Yeah, it's Innova. It's Innova made. Oh, it's old. Old in MD4, yeah. I'm going for this. Oh my god. He threw a fighter. That was so close to being like the best shot you could possibly throw. Nice one. Oh, deflector. Great choice. Oh yeah, that's definitely the gap right there. This is a mega overstable mid. Not enough. Oh, come on. Casey's choosing. I think I just gotta go with the glitch here. Oh, the famous glitch. All right, let's see what you got. Float it in there. This is about 70 feet. For par. Ah. Oh. It doesn't want a hyzer, really. Parked it for bogey. Ooh, that would have been detrimental for Casey White. Moving three stroke lead after two. Yeah. <laughs> All right, two stroke lead after two. Um, I've noticed Casey's bag is about twice as heavy as mine. <laughs> That's why he uses a cart, I think. Yep. Whenever he can. But flat rock, you can't really use a cart. Ooh, hole three's a little ace run. Yep. Check it out here. I haven't been here in years. Yeah, I don't think you've been here since like 2020. Do you want to throw your own disc now or mine? Well, we're going to find out. Ready? Okay, go. <laughs> the wheel is uh... Right. Swapping. We're swapping. What is this guy? P3X. You think good for this hole? Yeah, of course. A little stamp too. Oh, this disc is so bright it's blinding me. How stable is it? Pretty straight. Pretty straight. On the dance floor. Favorable kick, I'll say that. Okay. I think I'm just gonna throw the resistor again. Really? You're going driver? Yeah, standstill. I'd recommend the pyro. Okay, I was gonna. Do you think I can get there with the standstill pyro though? No, don't do standstill. Come on. Pyro is surprisingly stable. Like you want to go flat at those trees on the right and just have it do the work. I just want to stay. Okay, he's going standstill. And we're getting eaten by mosquitoes. It rained a lot last night. Oh. I like it. That was good. Pretty far left. Yeah, putting. Oh, what a lucky grab. That putt is called the no confidence putt. <laughs> Those are good putters. Yep. Blasting. A little high. Good birdie though. He's on the board. Beautiful. It's a prison proton pyro. The prism proton Plastic pyro. pyro. Trevin Crow. I call it the quad P. Quad P. <laughs> hey. Finally we get our own equipment. He doesn't get to carry my bag around for me anymore. I am two under though. You're two under and I am I was, even. I'm, I'm happy because this hole is actually the perfect proxy hole. Yeah, I probably would have suffered throwing one of your discs here. You should have thrown the proxy, it would have been good. Dang, what was I thinking? Dead straight. Skip in. Just parked. Simon jumbled up my disc on me to try and throw me off. I'm gonna throw them out of order. I'm not throwing P3X. Casey's very particular about his order in the bag. I am very much not. That's how you know if you're missing a disc. That's you... not a bad point. Here's the pin. That's the P3X. Skipped a little long. Oh, that's a long putt. We got some wet grass. Simon Lizotte is a part. 
And Casey White has a tester. I would this is beyond tester. This would actually be probably almost circle's edge. Straddle putt? Oh no! Oh, that's my move. All right, I'll tap it in and I take a three stroke lead. Four holes in. Five holes to go. Is this a hole, a bag swap? Or a bag not? Bag not. It's a bag not. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna choose the classic. Hex? Yeah, I haven't been throwing this well yesterday. I don't think I've ever seen that pink one though. Is it fission? Nope. Oh, okay. Neutron. I think I bought this from Maple Hill. Nice. Give them business. Oh, oh, what a kiss. He's getting lucky today, folks. Oh, all right. Never mind. It gives back. 60 short. Yep. That backwards kick. That's what the people want to know. What's in Casey White's bag? That's what they want to know. MD? Oh, MD1. MD1? Yeah. Where's your mind bender? Are you kidding me? It's in Minnesota. Wow. This hole is probably just under 400. It's a bit downhill. 380 maybe. Just an educated guess. Your shot was five inches worse than mine. Yep. But the result was 300 feet worse. Immense. <laughs> Immensely different. He could. Make a little flex forehand work here. Oh, that's early. Good kick. Oh, look at that roll. Wow. Look at that roll. Hit the pin. Still rolling. Too much turn. That's a tester too. As he should. As he should. I need some severe putting practice. Good. Gain confidence back. There you go. Par in the basket. Pars. Three strokes, three strokes, four holes left. Yep. 443 uphill par three. Actually, it's further, you said. Yeah, Probably they extended the basket. I want the swap. He wanted the swap, he got I the got swap. I got the swap. I think it's time for a cloud breaker. Okay. This guy? That's pretty flippy. Uh, this guy? That's probably the one you want. Ooh, is this a DD3? Yeah. Just send it again? Just send it again, yeah. 2.0. It's just a big left to right, right? Yep. This teapad looks semi... Yeah, it looks questionable. Suspicious. Oh, it did not flip. Too straight. That kept going too. Shopping. What's more understable, this or this? Uh, oh, the delirium, okay. way more. Okay. That dimension does not want to go left oh, uh, right at all. Oh, this is so wide. Yeah, it's a 14 and a half speed, okay. baby. I might just choose to throw, where to go? This one. The Defy? Yeah. It's pretty stable. Not crazy stable. It's pretty I just stable. hate that rim. <laughs> hey, no hate. All right, sorry. Uh, I I don't have big enough hands. Yep. All right, little wind. Defy the wind. Defy the wind. I would put a little turn on it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, he read the disc perfectly. That's right in the fairway. Hopefully. There is a little OB ditch there. When you're switching companies. Never. <laughs> never say never. I don't know if this is ever gonna work. It's pretty understable. So you don't you don't really want to give that any turn, I would guess. Let's see if I can film this right from the back. Where'd that go? Park! Oh, it's definitely in frame. I just couldn't see it on camera. Perfect. Six shot. Basket I'm playing, I'm playing is this there. Course in a controversial manner. Definitely not very well. Well, I'm putting for birdie, so this is going to really, really help me out yep. on the scoreboard. I definitely have no straight line. I have a forehand gap there. I can just chuck one through. 
You don't see it? I see it, but that's like a, that's a fighter right there. Okay, PD2. Fighter PD2. I, I'm actually, it's, it still hasn't been decided whether or not this disc used to belong to you. You know what, it could be. Yep. Let's see. That was a fighter. Pretty good. These are the exact putts you have to make a tournament to have any chance. Yeah, for sure. Ah! Uh, Bad time. putt. <laughs> okay. Um, one back for you. So I'm two down strokes. two with three to go. It's doable. Glitch forehand. Nice job. Yes, sir. You have this, the basket is right side on a downhill slope. And you, par three? Four. Oh, it's a par four? Yep. All right, spin the wheel. 424, par four. Casey already said on the walk here that he really wants his own bag for I this do. hole. I want to throw a nice strike. I want to throw my Tesla, honestly. Oy. Oh no, you can throw a Tesla though. And you can throw my nice strike. <laughs> <laughs> I want a PD. All right. Oh. Oh, it's you now. All right, that's right. You should uh, you should look at a different bag if you're looking for a PD. Oh, you can also try. Maybe you can try the Wave. The wave no, the Wave. It would be either Crave or Tesla. Okay, yeah, Tesla. I think is a good choice. All right, it's I have a very. If you power on it, it just goes straight. Okay. But you shouldn't mess too much with angles. Because if you put it on an angle, it'll just hold it. Okay. Short T pad too. Yeah, this tee pad is also questionable a bit. Cool looking hole though. Yeah, you're right. A bit more stable than you thought. Should've gone Crave. Yeah. Wow, you have no PDs? FD1. You have FD1? Uh-huh, blue one. Freaking blue, everything's blue in here. I'm zooming in on it. Oh wait, what's this? DD1. This might be a good disc, right? You might smoke it. Perfect. All right. right. That's part four. This is Flippy Guy, right? Yes. A touch of hyzer down the right side. We both made the same mistake. Oh, great kick. What a yeah, kick. This tee pad is way short and slick. Oh, he's got the D-Line MD in his hand. Is there a wee long? There is no, oh well, I think the island behind it might be OB, but that's the basket. Yeah, I think the next hole, the next bonus hole is green is OB. I got a little floaty run maybe. Yeah. That was, I think that was pretty good. That was the safest shot I've ever seen. It wasn't a run. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to film this right. Casey's in the rough on the left, throwing pyro. Pretty tough to film. There's the basket. That was probably 50 deep. Yeah, I figured. With the anode. Oh, don't roll. Dang. You're not getting the best breaks I've ever seen. <laughs> My putts are the sloppiest ever right now. And I'm still not taking advantage of it. Was that way high or did it just look like it? I thought it was fine. Okay. I kind of want to do a slow mo montage on this swinging basket. Okay. Let's swing it around a bit and do something cool. How was it? 
That was quite the interlude. Yep. I just want to throw my discs now. Spin the wheel. Oh, buddy. Hole eight. We're back at vlogging. That was he wants fun, to though. throw his own discs. No. <laughs> anyway, tools left. I have a three-stroke lead, right? Yeah, you just gained one back. Gained one back. Three strokes, two holes. Wow. MD3. This might be the one. All right. How stable is it? Uh, pretty dang straight. Okay. I stamped that myself. Perfect for this hole. Putting. So close to being good. You're gonna make it hard for me to gain two strokes on this hole. I could putt, miss, and roll. Okay, good. I like it. I've never thrown a hex. It's probably a bit wet from our interlude. Yeah, I gotta use your towel. If you do bag swap, you gotta use... Show the towel, promo. Sick. I love it. Yeah. Hex in hand. Oh, Ace. he aced it. Oh. Wow. That would have been nasty. That was my first shot with a hex. That was nice. Bestest ever. Hashtag. Wow. As he should. As he should. One more hole. You have a big putt, actually. 25 footer. Yep. For, for nothing. Well. Casey and an anode. For par. Oh my goodness. Just gonna leave the camera here sitting. Oh no. That's a ace bogey. What do you call that? Happens. From ace to bogey. Did, did you say that you thought that these felt like P2s? No. But maybe you, maybe you did originally, but that's false. <laughs> they kind of do. No. Probably just mania, just so I can throw it right. He got it! Yeah, all right. All right, three strokes, no, five. I now. bogeyed that, I bogeyed five that. Five strokes. Right there. Trying to meet right in the middle of these I trees. I aced it, I aced it. Oh wow, oh. that was chain high. Oh. His hands are on fire. Lots of chains. MD3. Tress. Lots of hyzer. Uh, too much hyzer. Good kick. Highlight putt. You'll lose by six. All right. Ooh, that was That's a, a nice. That's a P2. That was a nice putt. It's not an anode. I'm actually way long, so you might only lose by four. And he zipped it. Uh oh. Nice. Don't be scared. Ow! Somehow it's always weird. The off season takes forever, and then mid off season, it suddenly jumps to mid season. Like yep. the first first three months of season just feel like a blur. I love it. But cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe as always. Go check and out my video on. Back yeah, nine. we'll spin some more wheels for a different game on the back nine. Check out Casey White disc golf. Perfect. And uh, enjoy the show of the day, as always. Peace. Glitch out.